it's August 27th. We're nearing the uh, finish with August, Sam. Where'd it go? I have no idea. How's that cave getting to be now? We'll show Almost seven about months? six and a half, yeah. Yeah, closing on seven. What's yeah. the actual birthday? February 17th. 17th, okay. Kid's getting big. She's going to be in college. <laughs> Speaking of, I got two started in college at... Pitt State. You see that? Pitt State. Go Pitt State. First home game is this Saturday. I get to work uh, the alumni area. I always have fun doing that. I get to say hi to people. So if you're at the Pitt State game, come by the uh, alumni area. It's one of the shelters there in the uh, little park there, right behind the stadium. And come by and say hi. I'm usually cleaning tables. That's what I do best. Uh, birthdays today. We've got some uh, a lot of birthdays to cover. Betty Belt, Mike Brady. I went to do uh, Betty Belt. I went to school with her daughter. Cool. Donna. Uh, Mike Brady. Uh, Maria Chisholm, nice young lady over from Carl Junction. Uh, Keegan Quorum, Cecil Deal. I like Cecil. Uh, Char well, I like them all, but I, yeah. I like Cecil. Uh, Charles Peffley, Ron Rago, uh, Ricky Ross, and Carla Tackett. So happy birthday to all you guys. My Facebook friends' birthdays today, uh, Maddie Koch, uh, Kurt's age. She went up to Fort Scott to play uh, softball this year. I know Mom and Dad are proud of that, up there uh, playing a little ball for the, the Greyhounds, I think. Aren't they the Greyhounds? Oh, Sam, you're supposed to? Yes. Yeah, they're the, I, Fort believe, Scott? I believe they're the Fort Scott, yeah. Scott Greyhounds. So happy birthday, Maddie, and enjoy your, your fall ball. I know you play some big schools during the fall. That's that's always fun. You get kind of hammered around a little bit, but have a great time. Uh, then Taylor Clark, uh, he's a dentist out in Idaho, and I've known him a long time. Uh, happy birthday, Taylor. Uh, tomorrow, Diana Irwin. Happy birthday, Diana. Uh, Samantha Martin. Oh, Samantha. What a gal. I love her. Saw her just not too long ago. She came back to town. She'd been in Florida for a while. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jameson Spencer, Dr. Jameson Spencer. He's uh, now of Idaho and, uh, I believe, Denver. He's got two offices. Uh, uh, Dr. Spencer Jameson is, a, uh, Jameson is a, a fantastic dentist when it comes to TMJ. He limits his practice to TMJ and pain and so forth, and he's helped a lot of people, and I've learned a lot from him. You know. He's, uh, he's tremendous. Uh, a lot of guys in that organization are uh, tremendous at, uh, at helping people with pain. Uh, and then Dwayne Soper. You know what I did Sunday? What did you do Sunday? Last Sunday? That would have Dwayne part of it? No. I sang at his mom's wedding. Cool. It's cool, yeah. You sang at June's that, wedding. Right? You knew I sang at June's wedding. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Dwayne. Also, what else, do, what, about, what else about Dwayne, about this office? Comes in at 1 o'clock. Works here. Kyle? Kyle. <laughs> I like Kyle. Well, how's, that re how's the relation there? <laughs> Father daughter. There you go. That's Pops. <laughs> Pops to Kyle, who's our uh, on the job train. Sam's really slow today. What are you, what's the deal? Are you sleeping? <laughs> it's, it's 11 o'clock. I mean, you you should be at least awake by now. You're just not picking on me. No, I'm not picking on you. So happy birthday to all you guys, uh, everybody. Uh, the question today is, what is a partial? Well, a partial, when someone talks about a partial, they're talking about a partial removable denture. That's the big, long, fancy name for it. And uh, a lot of times, uh, uh, if loss of teeth uh, in, in, in a, as a, something other than a, a bridge, you know, people will opt for a partial, which comes in and out. And a partial denture looks a lot like this right here. Do I have it close enough? What do you think? Um. Yeah, yeah, I'll zoom okay. in. That's a partial denture. It's a framework of metal and, and uh, acrylic and teeth. And uh, that goes in and replaces teeth. It comes in and out. It's it's not as good of, a, of an option as far as, you know, as having something to go in there and stay. But it works. And it, a lot of people use this. It's uh, it's less costly than, than fixed bridges. Uh, but And it's better than going without teeth for sure. So uh, that's what a partial denture is. We had that question come in the other day. So... We wanted to take care of that and answer that for you. Uh, link of the day, it's, uh, <laughs> I remember when I was, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't want to go to church, you know, at the church, you know, I didn't want to go sitting there in pews and just look around. Well, this kid took it to a whole nother <laughs> level. Seven years old, he took the car and ran. Yeah, like this, I think, you know. Because the police were up behind him and they could you couldn't see a head mm -mm. coming in behind. So, he and, and he, did, he just drives it and he's smart enough to find his way home yeah he got home I mean, he got home and then at Park. the end 
He <laughs> threw it in park, and then this little joker goes running for the house, and the police are following behind him. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. So, you know, if you're seven years old, don't take the car. Nine or ten? No, not even nine or ten. So, hey, we're about that the weekend uh, for us here. Uh, like I said, Pitt State game this weekend. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we'll get a win. What do you think? I All think right. So. We'll see you Monday.